Hi, I'm Gobala Krishnan. In this video, I want to give you an overview of how all the components and the tracking technology in Link Tracker actually work. So, in Link Tracker, it all starts with a destination URL. And this could be a landing page on your own website or it could be an affiliate link. Now, instead of sending traffic directly to the destination URL, you would enter that destination URL in Link Tracker and we will give you a corresponding tracking link. Now, this tracking link is what you will use in all your ads on your website and in your social media posts. When someone clicks on the Link Tracker tracking link, we will place a cookie on the user's computer and cookies are one of the most common elements used on the internet everyone from gmail to facebook to twitter or any website that you normally log into uses cookies what is a cookie well it's basically a very small file that contains certain vital information that is encrypted so it can only be read by the person who placed the cookie in the first place in this case it's link tracker besides placing a cookie on a user's computer for every single click on your tracking link, we will generate what we call a click tracking ID or CTID. So you see the acronym CTID used in many reports in Link Tracker in our documentation. So a CTID or click tracking ID, as I said, is unique for every single click in Link Tracker and it records very important information about the click. For example, the geographic location of your visitors, the date and time that they clicked on your link, the type of browser that they use, the, the website or the page where they clicked the link from, and a ton of other information that you can place onto your tracking link. Now, once we have put the cookie on the user's computer and generated a unique CTID, we then redirect the visitor to the destination URL and the entire process can take less than a second so you would barely notice this happening. Now what happens when the visitor gets to your destination URL? So let's take a look at that. If your destination URL is a landing page on your website or a blog where you are selling a product or trying to generate leads, then you would need another page which is called the thank you page. So this page is typically the page that the visitor is redirected to once he has made a successful payment or after he has put in his name and email address and clicked on the submit button. This is the page that signifies the conversion, a sale or a lead. On this page, you would put our goal conversion code. You can generate this code in Link Tracker by creating a goal and assigning a value to that goal. When your visitor ends up on the thank you page, the goal conversion code will be fired and it will check for the Link Tracker cookie. When the cookie is present, it will send back information to Link Tracker and we will record this action as a conversion, which is a sale or a lead depends on the type of goal conversion code that you have placed. You can place multiple conversions throughout your sales funnel and Link Tracker records all those conversions. So what happens when a, your destination URL is not a page on your website what if it's an affiliate link so link tracker works with almost all affiliate networks like clickbank jvzoo commission junction or any other platform that runs on popular uh, platform services like has offers etc for affiliate links there are two ways to track your sales and leads and that is using sub ids and also postback Postback tracking is a great way to track your commissions and it does not depend on cookies. However, postback tracking is only available in the more modern affiliate networks, especially the networks that allow you to put in third-party tracking. For most traditional affiliate networks like ClickBank, etc., all you're allowed to do is pass a single ID, which is known as a sub-ID. Now, in ClickBank, this is called a TID. In Commission Junction, it's called an SID. Different networks use different acronyms for it, but it all means the same thing. It's basically a string of numbers and alphabets, and there's a limit to it, but you can pass that numbers and alphabets to your affiliate network. And when you make a sale, that sub-ID will appear in your commission report. 
All you need to do is make sure that you turn on the affiliate tracking option in your tracking link and link tracker will automatically pass the CTID into your affiliate network through your affiliate link as a sub ID that is properly formatted to that particular affiliate network. Now, when you make a commission or when you generate a lead, you can see link trackers click tracking ID appearing as the sub ID in your commission report. Almost all affiliate networks, even the more traditional ones, allow you to download your commission reports in Microsoft Excel or CSV. So download that file and import it into Link Tracker. And once Link Tracker has recognized our click tracking IDs in your affiliate commission report, we will then record that as a sale or a lead with the correct commission amount showing in your report. Now with that, you'll be able to look at all the reports in Link Tracker and you'll be able to accurately pinpoint the exact source or ad that generated that particular sale. And this is really, really powerful. Almost all other tracking services, no matter what they say, don't really have this feature or haven't really got it right. Okay, so that is the overview of how our tracking works in Link Tracker. It starts with a tracking link. When someone clicks on your tracking link, we put a cookie on the computer and we generate a unique click tracking ID. Then we forward the user or the visitor to the destination URL. If the destination URL is a landing page on your site, then the visitor will go through your sales process or opt-in process, end up on the thank you page where the goal conversion code is, and the code will check for the cookie that was placed in the user's computer before and report back to Link Tracker to record that action as a sale or as a lead. If it is an affiliate link, then the CTID will be passed to the affiliate network in the form of a sub ID, as long as you enable affiliate tracking option in the tracking link. When a sale is generated in your affiliate network, you can download the commission reports import it back to link tracker we will search for the ctid that we passed to your affiliate network before once we have found that ctid we will record that conversion as a sale or a lead and you'll be able to see amazing reports in your link tracker account so that's it that is the basic idea of how link trackers components and tracking technology works